So how significant is this new measure from Beijing? Well, it's an intriguing step by Beijing. Uh, the cyberspace administrator, as you said, is launching this uh, security investigation into Micron. Uh, Micron makes memory chips that go into all sorts of things, smartphones and PCs. Um, those are not typically the way that you would be concerned about uh, security. It's a kind of an unusual a place to look for security breaches. However, it does come within this broader context of the U.S. and China clashing over technology broadly and semiconductors in particular. In October, the Biden administration imposed a sweeping array of restrictions on China's ability to buy semiconductor equipment uh, from the United States. It's also been able to get its allies, the Netherlands and Japan, on board with these restrictions. So this looks like a little bit of a pushback that China is uh, signaling that it has the opportunity to retaliate in some ways against American companies in this context. The Chinese economic reopening was seen as one positive element for the chip makers, right? They've had a pretty rough stretch lately. Does this threaten the comeback? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you're exactly right. Uh, the memory chip market has been going through a very rough uh, few months where prices have uh, contracted. Uh, you've seen uh, inventories build up across the, uh, the uh, industry, and there are a lot of concerns that those prices are going to fall. We're going to get Samsung, the biggest memory chip maker, reporting its earnings later on. Its earnings are forecast to fall something like 90 percent. I mean, it's really, really rough out there. I think what's, what China is signaling here, though, is that they have concerns about Micron in particular particular that would be uh, directly targeted at an American manufacturer. Memory chips are, um, are interchangeable, though. So if uh, Chinese companies stop buying from uh, Micron, they would be able to turn to some alternatives like Samsung or Hynix in South Korea if they want to be able to get those memory chips. So it may be a signal that they can decrease demand for chips from Micron and shift some of that demand someplace else to other kinds of companies.